India is currently going through a tuner revolution. Every tuner in India wants to prove their own point and show their worth. And well, there is one thing and one way that they can all compete together is by doing something like this. This over here might look like just another polo with some insane mods done to it, but underneath this hood lies the heart of a 2-liter TSI. Yep. This thing over here is a 2-liter TSI swap polo and it's front-to-wheel drive. This thing can do some amazing times in the quarter mile and today I am going to tell you all about this monster. So I've already given you a hint of what is underneath the hood. So hold your horses for a minute because we're going to talk about all of the exterior cosmetic mods done to this thing. So up in front you have the R-line bumper, you have the GTI style headlights, uh, you have a carbon fiber hood, a real carbon fiber hood with functioning hood vents. Uh, then you have some Lenzo rims and in the front the tire combo is a little bit different compared to the rear. You have R888s from Toyo tires and these tires only they look so sexy. And behind the wheels you have some fat 332mm K-Sport uh, brakes with big fat calipers. Uh, come down to the side you have some side skirt action going on again the Lenzo rims. Then you have the Q2 style uh, tail lights at the rear. You have the stock GTTSI uh, OEM spoiler and you have have a diffuser at the rear. Overall, the car looks super menacing. It has a lot of carbon fiber parts like the hood, like these ORVMs over here. Very aggressive. And now let's talk about the real magic under the hood. So underneath the hood, like I've said, there's no puny 1.6 MPI, 1 liter TSI, 1.2 TSI even. This is a 2 liter TSI engine sourced from a Mark 6 Golf and it's an EA 888 Gen 1 engine and it has been splurged with mods. You have an APR carbon fiber cold air intake, APR ignition coils, a Magnaflow 200 cell race cat downpipe, a custom Magnaflow exhaust system, a turbo smart blow off valve and many more things to come. Moreover, this thing is not even pushing the limits of what it can do. It's only running an APR stage 1 tune which is super impressive and the way this thing goes down the drag strip because we, uh, we saw this car running at the Valley Run as well as Vroom and this thing can do some serious numbers even with a simple stage 1 tune. So I'm going to close the bonnet, let's hop into the interior because there's a lot of stuff going on inside as well. So hop into the interior and everything looks stock basically but if you start going into the small little details you'll start to understand that a lot of things have changed. First off, uh, the steering wheel is absolutely brilliant. I love the way this thing looks. This is the Mark 8 Golf GTI style steering wheel and it's not even the standard one. It itself has tons of mods on it. First of all, you have paddle extenders, then you have this carbon-tastic style carbon fiber finish with the Alcantara in the middle. Then you also have the F1 style uh, rev counter screen dots, whatever you want to call this. And it is customizable. So you can get a lot of different information over here on this little screen. So that once you're blasting down the highway, you don't have to uh, move your point of view to the instrument cluster, basically. Coming on to the instrument cluster, this is a completely different instrument cluster. This is not your Polo's instrument cluster. This is picked up from a Mark 6 Golf GTI. That's because that engine that you see up in front won't work without this instrument cluster. And trust me, I know all of this looks OEM stock basically, but this is one of the hardest things to swap into because it doesn't fit properly and these boys over here have to take a good five days for this thing to fit in like it is right now. Then you also have the RCD 340 and you have the DSG selector over here. Now, this is not a DQ200. The boys over here have swapped this thing with a DQ250 because a DQ200 just won't be able to take all of the torque that is produced by this engine reliably and that is the main key feature. So a DQ250 transmission, uh, I think so everything is set, it's time to start the car and I think you need to listen to it because it sounds absolutely insane. And after that's done, we'll take it out for a spin.
so driving the 2 liter TSI swapped Polo and I think so this is one of the most fun Polo builds I've ever driven I've driven almost everything possible apart from so yeah I've driven almost each and every possible build variant and you know like just almost everything that is possible with the Polo and this 2 liter TSI front wheel drive setup is the latest iteration that I've driven tomorrow I'm going to be driving a stage 3 GT TDI 1.6 but bar that I've almost driven everything in the possibility of a Polo and this 2 liter TSI swapped car is definitely up there with some of the most fun builds in terms of a Polo that I've driven first of all I have to get out all of the negatives because there are a few negatives there because since the car now has the 2 liter TSI instead of any other stock engine that you used to get in India well the car has become quite front heavy and uh, when you're taking some corners and everything this thing tends to understeer quite a lot maybe that's down to because I'm just driving in the city and the R triple eights which are very sticky tires and they need to sometimes be driven up to temperature are not in their temperature pocket currently the tires might be a little bit cold and maybe I'm not very used to driving this car but yeah it does understeer quite a bit but if you look over that fact well this car is so much fun to drive and the way it puts down the power is super efficient I mean it does have quite a lot of wheel spin but once you're in second gear in the top of second gear it basically hooks up and goes that's how much grip that the that's how much grip this thing can produce and maybe that's down to the R triple eights that this thing has super special set of tires let's just do one quick pull Half of the fun, I have to say, this is an amazing build, but half of the fun is in this steering wheel. I just love the shift lights. And this thing has been swapped with the DQ250 transmission, so I don't have that anxiety of a DSG failure happening anytime. Although it is possible, but the DQ250 can definitely hold much more amount of power compared to your standard DQ200. Now, unfortunately, I'm driving this car in Mumbai. And as you know, Mumbai is traffic infested, the roads are tiny, there are speed breakers almost on each and every road that you can think of. But I have this small little straight in front of me. Let's give it the beans. <laughs> it just gives you a big white smile on your face. And the most amazing part, like I said, I still can't wrap my head around it, is that this is a stage 1 car. Not even stage 2, stage 1. I can't imagine the amount of power and the amount of boost that this thing will start pushing once it's taken to stage 3. Oh, yes. Okay, now I want a Polo with a 2 litre TSI swap. I want one of these now. This is just epic fun, epic fun. The guys over at CS Performance are not done with this car. Of course, they're going to be doing a full-on stage 3 build to this thing, complete with an IS-20 or an IS-38 turbo, not too sure which one is going to fit, or maybe even a K-series turbo, because this is the EA 888 Gen 1 engine, so I'm not sure what turbo fits to this car. But regardless, whichever turbo it will fit, I think so this is going to be a handful once stage 3 comes on and that is going to be a completely different type of build and and the K-Sport brakes oh my god the bite on them is aggressive they just bite you into it just it's just so strong I can't tell you how that felt right now when I slammed on the brakes when this auto guy came in front of me oh my god it's violent the way it puts the power down it's absolutely violent and it sounds so different to any other 2 litre TSI that I've listened to 
I mean, in essence, it's the same engine as a VRS or a Mark VI Golf GTI, whatever uh, gen that is. Sounds so different. Sounds raw. It sounds angry for some reason. Moreover, this car is going to be turned into a complete track day machine by the boys over at CS4 Performance. So, they're going to be putting in either an aluminium or a titanium roll cage in this car. Even when this car is idling currently, it's vibrating so much. That's because this thing is currently on race bushes. Because any other bushes that you put into this car basically snap after two or three runs when you're doing full bore runs on a drag strip. That's how much torque and that's how much power this thing is able to produce. That it basically snaps any other sort of bushes. Oh my god! And these case port brakes are lifesavers, honestly. You need these brakes. If you're doing all these performance upgrades to the engine, get brakes. And this thing is just so engaging to drive, even if it's a DSG transmission. I know people rave about how manual transmissions are the most engaging ways to drive. And yeah, maybe in general, a manual transmission might be more fun, but trust me, this is equally as fun because when you hit boost in this thing, you don't have time to think to shift gears or something like that. So clicking the paddle is definitely the way to go with this car. Such a fun experience with this thing. We have seen this car run at the Valley Run and at Vroom Drag Meet in Bangalore this year. And it is astonishingly good in a straight line. No drama, no complaints, just hook up the tires and go. It is pretty effective and effective enough to make this little polo do the quarter mile in around 13 seconds. Check out these draggy figures. Impressive for a car that only has a stage 1 tune and around 275 bhp. And during this particular test session, there was no weight reduction done to the car and it was running on street tyres. The complicated part of the build is sourcing and swapping the engine. The new EA888 engines which you get in India are super expensive to buy, so you are better off sourcing one from Dubai or something. This particular engine swap has been done at Nick Trans Motorsport in Gujarat. The same person who built the bonkers all-wheel drive 2-litre TSI Polo. But apart from that, all of the other mods and tuning has been done by our mates down at CS4 Performance in Mumbai. The same way America has the trend of LS swapping everything, Japan has the trend of 2J swapping or RB swapping everything, India is slowly starting to 2 liter TSI swap or 1.8 TSI swap almost everything. And this is one of the most potent builds that you can get in under 30 lakh rupees because Trust me, you can almost smoke any baby M car that you want once this thing is up to stage 3. And considering the fact that in this particular setup, this thing is able to do low 13s in the quarter mile, it is absolutely astonishing. That too, with no all-wheel drive, only front-wheel drive. So yeah, definitely a build that you should consider if you have that sort of money. And if you want to build something like a track toy or a drag racing machine, this thing is a really good shout. A big thank you to the boys over here at CS4 Performance for letting us do this video. This is an amazing build and we hope to see what this thing does when it's all the way up to stage 3. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this 2 litre TSI swapped Polo and I'll see you in the next one.